and he told me <laughs> I was ugly. He was crying. I was you boo -boo crying. In the I was about the other person. You talking about that little boy? All right, come on. <laughs> Like he broke up with me over in a chest a text message. In a, that was a bad breakup, y'all. In a text message. All that said, was evil. <laughs> you know it's a banger right here. You know what it is. We about to still vlog this just like the grits making his like grits. <laughs> Alright, I got it, M. It's a rich boy Christmas, man. You know what it is. I got Megan, I got Brooklyn Queen on my wish list. Stop playing with your dog, yeah. You know that it's vlogging. Stop playing with your dog, yeah. You know it's vlogging. It's a rich boy Christmas, man. You know what it is. I got Megan, I got Brooklyn Queen on my wish list. Stop playing with your dog, yeah. You know that it's vlogging. Stop playing with your dog, yeah. You know it's vlogging. I'm Emily's ears. I'm a rich girl. I don't shop at Sears. Turn your man to a whim. I got Brick and Queen on my wish list. Stop playing with your dog, yeah. You know that it's vlog, man. Stop playing with your dog, yeah. You know it's long. Man. It's a rich boy Christmas, man. You know what it is. Hey, what's up, y'all? Your girl Steph T and Emily. Gang, gang. Mm. What it do? I'm just gonna have to do that. <laughs> and today we're gonna be talking about our worst breakups ever. Woo! Oh dang! I done riled up the animals, y'all. We gonna be talking about our worst breakups ever. So what I need you guys to do is turn on them post notifications. From it makes sure you subscribe. Look how cute she is. It makes sure you subscribe to my channel and to her channel, and make sure you like and comment on this video. All right, y'all ready to get into this? Let's get into it. Y'all wanna know our worst breakups ever? Yeah, I think I, I, I think I know yours too. <laughs> but y'all, let's get into it, all right? All right. All right. Let's go. Okay, Emily. So you gonna start? <laughs> or, I said I start. No, you start. No, Wait, hold on. No, this is your channel, so you get to start. Oh my gosh. Okay. I guess I'll start. Y'all, let me think. Well, I've had some horrible breakups. But I think my worst breakup ever has to be y'all <laughs> with my boyfriend in high school y'all i think i know who you're talking about yeah my boyfriend in high school you know what i have two worst breakups ever both my boyfriends in high school told me up but i feel like i think the first one was the about, worst one you, you can't say his name okay, i'm not gonna say his name the one you went to prom with i went to prom with two different boys so they're my first boyfriend both, Both of them, them yeah. Damn. But the first one was the worst one. <laughs> the one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I'm going to call him. Me? Girl, did he cheat on me? Yeah, he cheated oh on God. me. Bad. Why y'all going to be doing that? Because like, dudes be wanting to bad. have their cake and eat it too. And they be like, oh, I'm going to cheat on you, but you can't cheat on me type stuff. That's what I feel like a lot of guys think yeah. is like unhurt, like unwritten like, oh, code. What? You see that? Oh, <laughs> you're distracted. I'm sorry, but he's so cute. But y'all, okay, so I don't know how I should say this out. So my boyfriend in high school was low-key crazy. I hope he don't watch this video. <laughs> watch this like... He was so mean to me, y'all. Like, if you know, you know. Back then, he was so mean to me. Like, <laughs> he embarrassed me one day. He yelled at me in front of everybody Dang. at school and was, and like, basically was like, you gonna let that dude talk to you? Like, he, the boy had told me hi and gave me a hug, y'all. And it wasn't like, no, like, oh, I'm gonna rub on you, hug. It was like a little side hug. And he had got mad and screamed at me across the quad. And I was like, everybody seen it? Yeah, everybody saw it. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> I was like, this is embarrassing. And he used to tell me all kinds of stuff. Like, I straightened my hair for um, winter formal. And he told me <laughs> I was ugly. 
He was like, I told you not to do that. You look ugly. Like, you don't look good. Like, basically, oh in so God. many words. And I was like, and he was like, well, I told you not to do that. I told you you need to wear your hair curly, but you didn't. And I was like, well, I'm not here to, you know, impress you. Like, I want to impress you, but, like, you know, I don't yeah. have to. Like, I should feel pretty, you know? And I hadn't straightened my hair in a long time. This is when I was growing my hair out, too, because my hair used to look... I, I was struggle busting it. But my junior year, I had kind of started getting stuff together. Senior year, though, baby, my hair was luscious, let me tell you. But... What the freak? Yeah, he was evil. Why was so <laughs> mean? I, you should have slapped him. He was so mean. Why you didn't slap him? Girl, because I thought he was just the coolest boy ever in the world. So I just didn't even, you know, I didn't make it a big deal. Like, I just thought he was so cool. He was uh, on a wrestling team, you know. And at my school, the wrestling team was like the football team, so... It was just like, that's what I thought was cool. And I liked him. And he was evil sometimes. I mean, I hope he's doing all right now. I feel like he has a good heart at deep Where down. You but me? he crazy. But anyway, so this is how we broke up, y'all. So over the summer, he was a year older than me. He was going to college. And I was still in high school. Mm -hmm. And so he tells me, oh, yeah, you know, I think it'd be better if we broke up. And I'm like, why? Like, we've been together for two years now. What's the, why would you want to break up with me? Like, I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. how dare you? Y'all been together two years? We have been together for two years. And he was going, I, he was going out to college. Yeah, he they was going to college. Were, were you, cause they had like, college is a, a dirty step, huh? They got a yeah, lot of girls. Yeah, and there was going to be a lot of girls there. Mm -hmm. But y'all, look what he wanted me to do. He wanted you to go with him. No. He said, okay, well, look, this is how you need to do it. Long distance. You don't talk to nobody, but I get to do whatever I want to do. But I'm not, you know, I'm not going to cheat on you or whatever, but I get to still kind of do whatever I want to do because I'm going to be in college, but you don't get to talk to nobody. You still lie basically with me. And so at first, y'all, let me tell y'all, at first I was with it. I said, yeah, okay. This is fine. I mean, you are going to college. I ain't tripping. And then I started running it through my mind. You going to college at LSU or what? No, Southern. Oh. Girl, he didn't even stay in college. You Come to that. find out, he dropped out. So you you did all that. You ain't even stay there. <laughs> Let me stop. Oh, my gosh. But, <laughs> yeah. Look at her. She graduated. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. But, though, no, he was like, yeah, I just need to I need some space but like we can still talk and we can still mess around I don't want you talking no, to nobody else but I need to go and do my thing basically and you need to sit there and still be a girlfriend oh uh, but yeah y'all I was I was with it I was with it uh -uh. then I started telling other people and every time I told the story again and I was like did. dang I feel more and more stupid how stupid could I possibly be so, y'all, it had to be, like, a day or two later. And I tell him, you know what? If you don't want, like, if you're not going to be faithful to me and you feel like you need to go have your cake and eat it, too, you just need to go have your cake. You can't eat it, too. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be there. I need, I don't need this. I don't need this in my sure life. You don't have to, I don't need this treatment. You know what I'm saying? Okay, first of all, let me see but I don't need this treatment. I don't need to be treated like this. She don't need to be treated like and this. And so he was like, no, no, no. We can get back together. And by this point, I had talked to everybody. And everybody was just reminding me of all the horrible, mean things he had ever said to me. And I was like, you know what? You about right. I, I, I don't even need to deal with him. I'm just going to drop him in the trash. And you know, Leo mentality. Oof. Leo mentality is like, oh, if I'm on you, I'm on you, like, 100%. But once I drop you and my mind is set on dropping you, I'm not going to ever love you the same way I feel the same way about you. That's again. how I feel. Like, when I, first, when I like somebody and then they do me dirty, I'm not going to like them the same again, huh? It just, it's just not I even am. the first time they do me dirty. It's just when I, find, I finally process all the things that they did or what <laughs> I don't like about them. It's like, oh, you it's like over them. with. Like, you just I don't need you no more. 
it's over with. Like I don't have to ever feel and you become ugly to me. You don't even <laughs> look real. cute. Like, like you just... I don't even care if you so fine. You the finest man in the world. If you turn me oh, off, really? you scared the crap, the crap out, out of me. me. Oh, he a FedEx man, y'all. <laughs> Baby, what the H E double L? <laughs> I thought he was gonna break the window. I don't even know what he was doing. He a U haul. I know. But, why he in the U haul? Okay. I don't even know, girl. <laughs> but, anyways, it's just like once you do a, a, a bunch of stuff and I realize you're trash, then like I don't even need you. And like, granted, after all this, y'all, he ended up talking to one of my closest friends. <laughs> and it's horrible. <laughs> talking to one of my closest friends behind my back. Apparently, she had been talking to him, like, and everything. Watched me at parties for him. That's what that, like. Watched you was, at parties for him. Girl, why? Some okay. weird stuff. Like, weird. Like, y'all are weird. So, but, he, he, you could tell he's a very controlling person. Yeah, but... <laughs> It was just that that was just all weird. And even in that situation, I was mad at my friend mostly. Not I was mad at him too, but I was kind of over him. I would still like entertain him here and there, but I only did it to spite the friend that had spited me. Cause I'm like, how dare you go try to talk to my ex? Like I won't just go snatch him back up just to make this whole situation, you know. Like you're not gonna play on me like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm still gonna be in the picture. Like this dude loved me more than he wanted you. Like so I'm gonna play on y'all because y'all both played on me. Like that's horrible. Right. But y'all, it was just that was a bad breakup. It was really emotional. It was it was crazy. It was one of my first. It was actually my first real breakup. It was he was my first real boyfriend, and it was just bad. It was really bad. And then my second boyfriend, the second one. He literally, I'm going to make this sweet and short, but because Emily needs to tell her break or worst breakup story. But y'all, this dude really just wanted to go to Panama. So he broke up with me and did not say nothing. Like we have been in this relationship. He had got me a promise ring, telling me he loved me, he wanted to get married, everything. And you know, in high school, I'm young. I had went through that bad breakup and now I'm with you. And I'm just like, yeah, like I love this. Let's do it. Whatever. And he just made a whole 360 time. Even on his graduation, he was texting another girl about to meet up with her. But you want me to be the, the girl with your family and stuff, but you want to go meet up with this guy. Cool. Like, um, no, that's messed up. And that's on crazy, my graduation. Bro, people really do that, huh? Yeah. But oh. on my and on my graduation, you spent the whole night with me, like you was with me, partying and everything. That's not how that works. And then you gonna get mad because I don't come to the graduation party. Well, no, I d didn't come to the graduation party that like his family threw for us. And I love his family still too. They're like great people. They're all great people. I still like, he's cool too, but you know, <laughs> it's like now we're okay. But back then, no. no. <laughs> and he told, it, he really just broke up with me to go to Panama. Like he just treated me like trash and was mad. And like when I came and brought him his promise ring back, I'm sitting there like boohoo crying. And he just stared at me like this. Oh. And did not care. It did not care at all, y'all. You was crying. I was you boo -hoo crying. That thing in the lake. I was I know. I should have never brought it to him, but I really just wanted to know why he broke up with me. Like my feelings oh, were hurt. You just wanted to see him in reminisce, huh? Yeah, I wanted to see why. Like I felt like if I was in his face, he wouldn't like, like, he, he wouldn't, wouldn't bro, want to break up. Man, why they But he told me up, y'all. I said, I, I said, oh, okay, cool. That's fine, whatever. But it's that's Tell old up. stuff, y'all. It's Tell old stuff. Up. I'm cool Tell now. Up. We cool now. We have had conversations since the breakup. But, you know, after the breakup, it was a wrap. I mean, I was still sad for days and days after that and weeks after that, but. You know, it's like once I had you and you do me dirty and I get over you, it, it's a wrap. I'm over you. But what's your worst breakup, Emily? Tell us the story. Come on. Oh, hey, girl. Sorry. <laughs> I'm being nervous. Yeah, that, <laughs> you need to stop. I'm being nervous, y'all. I'm paying a business that don't mind me. Exactly. Uh, 
So what's I, your worst breakup? Um, my worst breakup was hold on. I was twelve years old. <laughs> wait, wait, who is this? I was talking to this boy. He's way older than me. <clears throat> hold up. He was in high school. And he was, this was weird. This wasn't even a, I don't know what that what, was. What, what? That was who, my first actual, talk, like, that was the first actual. Who are you talking about? He's tall, light skin, used to be quarterback, everything. Everybody used to love him. At the other school you went to? The yes. first school you went to? Yes. Anyways. You so, 12? Yes, I was 12, girl. What school? I thought you was going to um Broadmoor by then. No, I was 12. I went to Brahma at like 14, maybe. No, or 15. you didn't. Yes, I did. Girl. I was 14 or 15. You were not 14 or 15 at Brahma, ma'am. Oh, I'm tripping. I was 15 then. No. I was not no 16 when I had just... Wait. No, you was 12 in, in middle school, idiot. You was 13 <laughs> in high... I mean, okay, in middle school. So 13 and 14 in eighth grade. Whatever. I was 12. I had to be, I remember. So I was 13. What grade did you go to Broadmoor at? I was in, wait, I was in sixth, no. I was in fourth or fifth grade. Okay, so you were in fourth or fifth grade, so you were literally 11 <laughs> or 10. You were not. No, I team. was not 11 or 10. Yes, you were. Girl, I can swear I was 12. No. No, you ain't got to you were 11. Me. I was 12. You were 11, oh Emily. God, That's the oldest sir. you could have been in fifth grade. 11. Bro, I was 12. You me. was 11. How was 11 talking to that boy? Because you was. You was stupid. <laughs> And I you thought you was grown. I didn't even want to tell this story. This story is sad. That's your worst breakup? <laughs> I thought the other boy was your worst breakup. He was, too. I'm finna... Well, they already know that, but... I got... Okay, so we're gonna move on to that one then. <laughs> so, <laughs> basically... And I might come back to the other one, but... He had broke up with me. Well, we was talking for, like... We was friends at first. Well, not friends. Well, we was... Yeah, we was friends uh -huh. or whatever. And we was cool. And we was talking... And we was just always talking, like, you know, or whatever. We was just always be talking. I was making sure he good. He made sure I was good, you know. And woo to woo. So then after the friend stage, we went to the talking stage. And after the talking stage, we started, you know, you know, he was feeling me. So he wanted me to be his girlfriend. And so we started dating. And, you know, he was doing me like, I mean, he, I can't say he had a bad attitude because he never had a bad attitude. He was always happy and stuff. You know, so he had a good personality and all that other stuff. Who are you talking about? Oh, no, he don't have a good personality. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> no. <laughs> he, he smiled and stuff. He, cool. he used to smile but, like, but he used to be always, mad. He used to always be on his game, y'all. And every time we'd be on the Wait, phone. Wait, who is Well, in the beginning. About? Oh, my gosh. I Tell wanna, me in my ear. Uh, he can't, he, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. No, I, I got know. broken up with him over in the test message. Oh, oh, that was so sad. Oh, oh, oh. I, this whole time I'm thinking about the other person. You talking about that little boy? All right, come on. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst. No, for real, that was the worst breakup ever. Because like he broke up with me over in a chest a text message. In a that was a bad breakup. Yeah. In a test message. That says, was evil. And I was sad. Cause then, she called me crying, y'all. I had to go it was off so on terrible, everybody. Like, it was so bad, y'all. Because it was, like, really bad. Like, that was terrible. Like, embarrassing. Because he made it seem like... Then was, he made it seem like you was in the wrong. I'm like, how you break up with somebody over a text message and then you make me the, the bad guy? <laughs> I could kick you in your eyes. And everybody was getting mad at no. me. I was like, y'all, I ain't even do nothing. He broke up with me. And in a text message. At least he could have called me That's, and been that like trifling. I remember. I was that. like, dang. I, I remember. And that whole night I was up until like five in the morning, y'all. I kid you not. And I was still crying. And then I finally stopped. And I was like, you know what? Life goes on. So then <laughs> Y'all, she had called me. I was in Atlanta. And she was crying. I had, I was, in, I had cussed everybody. But out. I was already wondering why he wasn't like texting me and stuff. And like, that was toe up. That was toe up. Yeah. And then I was like throwing swings on the internet. Like oh, I feel like I'm getting cheated on. 
And whole time I was getting cheated, cheated on. on. <laughs> and then when you feel like you getting cheated on, you getting, getting cheated, cheated on. on. Period. It ain't even. A and question. I know who it is too. Yeah, yeah. Once you said it, I ain't registered, and I was like, that was bad. You had called me boohoo crying. Because it was And terrible. I had to go. I was like, like, it's over with. I'm going off, period. Because <laughs> y'all playing now. Like, y'all playing with her now. It's, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. <laughs> For real. That was so up. Though. That was so up. up. <laughs> that was so up. I'm not. I was mm -hmm. like, what the freak, bro? I was mad, y'all. I was so confused. Like, I really was. Because we was in the movies, and I had got a text. And I thought he was texting me, like, you know, I was getting happy. He texted me because he wasn't talking to me. So I had looked. I was smiling. I looked, and I you know, I just started. I left that thing, and I started crying. I said, are you serious? What I do? And then it's like, it's probably, a, like, everybody was like, oh, it's, this is probably a prank. A prank. It's a prank. prank. It's, it's a, a prank. prank. It's a prank. He said he's going to prank you. <laughs> Girl, it was not no prank. It was not a prank. It was a real life. <laughs> it was real right. life, real serious. It was not no prank. prank. And I was waiting for them to tell me it was a prank, girl. I was like, I <laughs> hope it's a prank. I was so mad for you because everybody did keep saying it was that a prank. Yeah. I was like, I'm waiting. It's a prank or is it not? But they, that was they, they that was that was messed up. That was messed up. It was. But y'all, my advice to y'all when you go through a breakup or you feel like, what did I do wrong? It probably isn't you. It's most likely 10 times out of 10 the other person when they break up with you. Uh, well, not 10 times out of 10. I'm going to say 9 times out of 10. Because if you really feel like you've been doing everything you're supposed to in a relationship, do not beat yourself up about it. You just gotta saying. realize that sometimes other people just are thrown off and they don't know what they have until it's gone. And don't ever, I mean, I'm not saying don't ever go back when you break up because sometimes when you go back, it's a good situation. Sometimes when you go back, it's good. Sometimes when you go, go back, back, it's bad. bad. It's gonna be worse. But just live your life Mama. and have a good time. But y'all, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you guys like, like comment, and subscribe. subscribe. And make sure you turn on them no post notifications. Follow and us we on. hope y'all have a good Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. And um, make sure y'all follow us on Instagram at SFT at Emily's underscore ears and at Loud Gang. Okay, we're out of here. Bye, y'all.